Would you like to work closer to home, save money on gas, and be rewarded for your hard work and attendance? Then Belicio Foods is looking for you. That's right, Belicio Foods is now hiring for multiple positions and shifts with great employee benefits, an on site health clinic, competitive wages, and advancement opportunities. Belicio Foods is a company that truly values their employees. Apply online at BelicioFoods.com slash careers. Hey everybody, it's your old pal Porterhouse, and have we got news for you. It's the brand new Cycle Search 2023, and we've got not one, but two we're giving away. That's right, it's twice as nice, and you're going to find... Our price is right here at Honda Suzuki Polaris KM KO of Jackson, just off US Route 35 at the Standpipe Road exit. Order House giving the big bike away over there. Tell them about it. Well, this one right here may be a little bit used once it gets into your possession, but basically what you're going to be doing is searching all over our listening area for a set of keys that will go to these KOs. And of course, uh, what will happen is you'll listen to the clues you'll try to figure out where it's at and once you think you know where it is you go look for it and when you find it you win exactly so how do you win be listening to matt in the morning crew each weekday morning you're going to get your clues there first on mix 96 fm matt will have those clues and then you can hear them across our total media platforms on 97 country the bull also on wcjo fm pure rock 98 7 and fox sports 105.3 fm again you find that key packet you're right away on a ko storm 150 or this beautiful ko predator 125 it's all from your friends at total media and of course honda suzuki polaris k&m ko in jackson Happy Tuesday, everyone, and welcome to the morning show right here on Main Street TV. Of course, Jennifer here to start off your morning with one of our good friends from, of course, Holzer. Welcome. Hey, thank you. Yes. And um, first off, let's have you introduce yourself a little bit, and then I'm going to put you to work straight away. Oh, man. I know. The you pressure's got, on. Yeah, you got right to it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, my name is Carol Armstrong. I am the HR generalist for Post Holzer Post Acute Care Division. Um, I am native to Southeast Ohio. I'm from Bidwell, Ohio. It's the center of the universe, if you don't the know. The booming metropolis of Bidwell, Ohio. We even have a roundabout now. Shut up. That's when you know you've made it big. I told Dude. you we're the center of the universe. You are. Hey, you have a winery. We do. That we do. And we have, you know, the corner gas station. Yes. Excellent food there, too. Yes. Truck stop. Now we have a Dollar General and a Dollar Tree and the Family Dollar. All in Bidwell. Who knew? Everything. You really don't have to leave Bidwell now. Yeah. It's it's the place. It's the place to be. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> so growing up in Bidwell. So is there a, like, where would you have gone to school? I I'm went just, to River Valley. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. I was just curious about that since, I mean, I know Bidwell's up and up and booming, but uh, I didn't know that they had their own school. <laughs> yes, yes. I was actually the first graduating class of the new high school. So the old high oh, school cool. was out in Cheshire. Yeah. And then my senior year, um, they opened the doors of the new building. And I, instead of having like a 25, 30 minute drive to school, I only had a five minute drive to school. So nice. it was perfect. Yeah. Yeah. That's game-changing stuff right there. It was a life changer for me. <laughs> yeah. It was. For sure, for sure. Well, welcome. We're so glad to have you here on the program today. And you are going to talk about something fun that you have um, going on. And if you all are looking maybe for a career change, um, Carol's going to tell you all about it. But before we get to that, we're going to put her to work because we were telling Carol about the cycle search and... Today's clue is a big one. This is probably one of the biggest ones we've had so far, so the pressure's on. Oh, wow. Yeah, this one's actually, like, really going to tell you something. All right. I hope you all are listening out there. That's right. So, Carol, you are going to read day 12 
of the cycle search clue and we do want to thank our friends at howard hannah realtors and iron city implement for sponsoring the cycle search along with some other uh, fun folks that we'll be telling you about about as uh, time rolls on so all right we're going now listen up to what carol has to say because you're going to learn a lot today day 12 as the search progresses look where you like the clues provide direction, so don't worry about Pike. Ooh. That is a good one. Should I read it again for him? Sure. As the search progresses, look where you like. The clues pro provide direction, so don't worry about Pike. Does that mean Pike County is out? What does Ooh. that mean? Does that mean it's not on a road that ends in Pike? What does it I mean? Oh, my gosh. <sighs> Mind blown, I tell you. The pressure's on. I'm telling you, girl. Mm. <sighs> there. We marked it off so we know we read it. Because if not, I forget. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, are, um, you have something really cool coming up um, here pretty soon. And I think, Dylan, do you have a flyer or something for that? Or am I wrong? Yep, I do. Okay. Yep. So we are hiring, which means we if you're are. looking for um, if you're looking for maybe a new career, uh, Miss Carol here could probably help you out. So um, let's talk about what you do for a minute as a human resources generalist. <laughs> and then it says um, Holzer Post Acute Care. Could could you? <laughs> In what normal people it? terms, what the heck does that mean? <laughs> yes, yes. Um, I'm not even going to lie. Prior to um, starting with Holzer and applying, I was like, post-acute, post-acute, okay. You know, you really had to break down post-acute care. Like, really think about, because I wasn't sure. Yeah. Um, but no, so <laughs> post-acute. It's so super official, though, whatever it is. That kind of makes me sound important, but I'm really not. Yes, you are. No, I'm just a member of the team. Ah. So post-acute, um, so that um, entails like Holzer Assisted Living for Gal Police in Jackson okay. and Holzer Senior Care. Um, so it's essentially just like your long-term care aspect of health care. You okay. know, whereas with, so right now, you know, there's ambulatory, there's acute, and then there's post-acute for Holzer. So I handle the three facilities um, within post-acute. Um, so the Holzer Assisted Livings and the Holzer Senior Care. I handle all of the HR functions for those three facilities. Okay, that seems like a lot. Um, it, at times it is a lot, but <laughs> it is. it honestly has been such a great journey so far. You know, I just started in October, and I feel like every day there's something new that I'm learning. Um, the opportunity to connect with my managers at the facilities, yeah. um, the employees at the facilities, and then even just connecting with others within the Holzer Health System has been such a blessing. Mm -hmm. It's been great. So wonderful. So you're handling all the human resources for all of those uh, all of those places. That's amazing. Uh, something like that. I mean, not all, but a, a, a nice bulk. A, a yeah. nice bulk. Yeah. So you guys have um, an open house coming up. Yes. Like a hiring sure. event kind of thing. We do. We All do. Right. So March 15th, which is next Wednesday, I believe, at Holzer Assisted Living in Jackson, um, we are having a job fair um, where we'll allow anyone who's interested in a position with Holzer Assisted Living or if you just want to find out more about the facility, um, you can come in, um, take a tour of the facility, meet with the hiring managers, um, if there's a particular position that you're interested in, you can get more information, um, do on-the-spot interviews, and even apply there on the spot. Um, awesome. Yes. How many other jobs do you know where you can actually <laughs> meet your new potential boss right. ahead of time? Exactly. No, no. Like, that doesn't happen. Yeah, no. You can go in, see if you mesh well. That's awesome. Exactly. Exactly. And I think that that's also very important um, because, you know, it, it has to be a, a mutual um, benefiting a, arrangement, you know. Mm -hmm. it, it's one thing that I'm super grateful for um, as far as the VP for post -AQ, um, and then the managers as well. We all have a mindset of 
it can't just be benefit. It can't be an arrangement that just benefits us. It needs to benefit them as well. Sure. Um, we have to be a, ra- a right match for each other. So, you know, this is your opportunity to come in and meet us, find out what we're about, kind of get a, a, a good feel for the atmosphere um, and figure out, hey, do I, do I think that this would be a great fit for me or is it not really? Because, you know, not every job is a great fit for everyone. Right. Which is completely understandable. Totally. Um, but, you know, I think that we are – my three facilities, I think they're a great fit for – for a lot of people, so. There you go. Who wouldn't want to work with this lovely lady? I mean. And just think about how fun to meet all the residents, too. Yes, yes. I mean, they're and so they're so sweet. sweet. You took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> I, um, when my great uncle was up at um, Holzer Assisted Living, I would go out there quite a bit. And, I mean, they did so many fun things. They played games. And I can remember, um, him going there kicking and screaming did not you know didn't want to leave his house didn't yeah. want to do any of that stuff and totally understandably so but i mean we laughed so hard because then we'd be like uncle lewis you want to come over for christmas no i'm good yeah because or, i mean it's um bingo's gonna happen i go i need you to take me back <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, he had plans yeah. You're keeping him away from his friends. It's so much fun. Yes. And I was just like, I want to live here. And the food's so good. And it's just great. Listen, they have some awesome cooks. They at- do. <laughs> I mean, like, I would go out there and eat with them. It was so good. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I just found out a couple weeks ago that um, the dietary manager at Holzer Sister Living in Jackson, he's actually a chef. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, my goodness. Mm-hmm. I had no idea. Yeah. If he was working there when your uncle was there, no wonder your uncle was ready to go back. I know, right? It's just, it was it was funny. Yeah. But no, it's a great place. Um, they do so much good. It, um, I love the fact that it it enables folks to, to live longer on their own. Um, and what a rewarding experience that would be to help people, I guess is my point, um, To help people facilitate that. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Because that's one thing that we definitely see, um, you know, just like with your uncle, he was very hesitant to go because, you know, there's that idea that they're losing their independence. But in reality, um, when they come to the assisted living and even at the um, Holzer Senior Care Facility, you know, we have activity coordinators where they're constantly planning events for the residents. Um, For Valentine's Day, we had a Valentine's Day party slash dance at our facilities and um, at the assisted living facility in Galpolis, one of our um, nurses actually took over as a DJ and and was playing music for them. And um, it seems like every single time I go up to one of the facilities, I'll walk past the uh, common area and they're doing bingo. Yes. He'd be like, hey, do you want a candy bar? I'm like, what? how did you get that? I want a bingo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, awesome. They play bingo all the time. And I'm like, oh, man, maybe I might want to skip this next meeting and hang out. Because they look like they're having such a great time. And then not only are they having a great time, but the employees have a great time interacting the, with them as well. And that's the whole point. And it just becomes a big, a big family. <laughs> and um, I think the assisted livings are so, this is just my opinion, um, they're so good because they allow folks to to share that independence, but also share their lives with others and, you know, meet friends and have have someone there to look out for them if they need to, but really still be independent. And right. it's like the best of all the worlds. Yeah, it really is. So good. It really is. So it, so it um, Who wouldn't want to be part of that, right? Exactly. This is why you need to come talk to Carol. Come um, meet the team. Exactly. So you are having the open house, and we'll get back to that in a second. But what kind of positions are you, you know, searching for? What kind of folks, um, what kind of talent do you need? What kind of, you know, uh, I guess, well, who are you looking for? Well, um, so as far as the positions go that mm-hmm. we have available, um they there's a wide variety you know we're looking for lpns rns stnas um nursing assistants um dietary aids housekeeping so you know whatever your your thing is 
well, chances are we have something, we have a position for you. Um, but as far as um, people, because, you know, you might have that work experience, but, you know, we're just looking for people who are wanting to be a part of the team, you know, um, people with great attitudes um, who are, are just ready to come on board and just just really help out where they can. That's um, right. That's 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 huge. Um, that's that's definitely a huge factor. So if uh, somebody comes to the open house in Jackson, would it be just for Jackson positions, or could they say, "Hey, you know, I wasn't able to make one of the other ones. I'm, you know, interested in working, but I live closer to Gallup Police, for example, or something like that." Is that you know, just yeah. show up anyway? Yeah, come on out. I mean, that's definitely still an option. Um, I mean, obviously, you know. Our primary focus is staffing for the Holzer Assisted Living in Jackson facility. Okay. However, you know, you'll still have the opportunity to come inside and get a tour of the building. Um, both facilities um, for the assisted livings, uh -huh. um, they're both identical in the layout. Yeah. <clears throat> and then as far as the services that they offer to the residents, those are all also identical as well. So although it's not the exact facility that they're hoping to work at, they still at least get a feel for what the environment would be like. Exactly. And it is so warm and cozy. It is. Isn't it really it? is. And the apartments are so nice. I'm like, wow. I know. That's a, this, these apartments are better than my first little cottage house I had. And I'm like, <laughs> wow. They have their own little kitchenettes. And yes. it's just really nice. Yes. The goal, absolutely, in almost every way imaginable, is to try to maintain that sense of independence um, to every extent possible for our residents. So, you know, they have their own apartments. We do have a little kitchenette area, but also we have a chef there on site that um, is preparing meals every day. Yep. Um, and not only is our, not just techs, our, our chef at, um, at the Jackson facility, but in Galpolis as well. You know, they're sitting down and, and really putting a lot of thought into the meals that they're preparing for mm -hmm. our residents. And I think that that is so special that I, I've seen them sit down and be like, okay, you know, it's March, it's St. Patrick's Day, like, or the St. Patrick's Day is coming up. Like, let's have some St. Patty's Day themed food and some activity. Like, they're literally going out of That's their awesome. way to try to create a very... Um, welcoming and inviting environment, um, and just to you know do what they can to to help brighten our residents' day. So I think that's super special. Yeah, and I mean it's the same stuff that you would think about maybe at home or going out. Um, exactly. So you're doing the same thing. So yeah. it's wonderful. That's really sweet. Yes, very good. Um, okay, so let's talk about so one thing that may be a little bit different. Um, from this versus a uh, you know any other job was this is shift work because it's <laughs> obviously twenty four seven right uh, residents need care and all of that so I assume that you have different shifts that you're hiring for definitely so um, <clears throat> at our assisted living facilities they do work eight hour shifts um, so a morning shift evening shift night shift. Okay. Um, but yes, we are looking for a variety. We, we're looking to fill a variety of those those co a combination of all of those shifts. Um, so if you're someone who you know needs a job that allows you to work in the evenings, I can guarantee you we can find a spot for you. If you're someone that needs morning hours, we can help you out with that. I mean, obviously, with any job, there isn't a guarantee of yes, you can come in. We can promise sure. you that you're going to have this set schedule. Um, but for the most part, you have a pretty good idea of, yeah, it's so interesting to me. Human beings are so different and, and we're all built differently. Um, and I had no idea that there are lots of folks out there that prefer working like third shift. It's just there the are... way their bodies, you know, they're just happier doing that. I'm like, Oh, I, I'm not a morning person. Like I could, I don't know. I would, yeah. it would be bad. But, yeah. Same, same. Um, but there, are, so just depending on like what, if you are one of those people that, you know, or maybe you have kids and, and you want to be home with them during the day and then go to work or something like that. Um, the shift work is great for that. Exactly. If you're someone who's in nursing school or in college, just 
doing whatever, you know, you're definitely going to need a job that can work around your school schedule. And that's also something that um, I can say that our managers absolutely try to accommodate as best as possible are your work schedules. You know, we um, are of the mindset that, hey, we might not be your forever employer, but we are more than willing to do what we can to get you there um, and, and help, you know, invest in your future. So... Um, that's one thing I can definitely say that I appreciate about our, our health system is that um, we're doing what we can to to help better our employees. You know, and I think that's such a good attitude because, you know, and, and if there's anything, I call it the C word because I don't like to talk about it. Anything the C word has, <laughs> has um, you know, made folks realize a little bit is is the value of staff and how important, you know, they are and and. I was taught a really long time ago that, you know, your staff doesn't work for you. You work for them. Absolutely. And if you can get your head wrapped around that and most people go, what, 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 what? If you don't understand that, then you need to. (laughs) Absolutely. Absolutely. And I feel like if anything, um, the, the pandemic has, has taught us that. The old you know? C word. Yeah. We won't use the C word. We don't word. Want to use that word. But, yeah. you know, I, I think that... Um, no, it has certainly stressed it. Yes, yeah. yes, that, you know, people are now, like, that That was a very trying time for everyone across the board, especially people working in healthcare. And yeah. I think more than anything, it has um, shown an importance of the whole being mindful of the holistic well-being of your employees. Yes. Um, Because if you have someone who's just constantly coming to work every day, showing up, you know, we have to be able to pour back into our employees the way that they're pouring into our residents, into um, the health system. And if you're not pouring back into them the way that they're pouring themselves into you, it's not going to work. No. Um, And so I, I think that, you know, coming out of, the C word, um, it's definitely taught us to be appreciative of the employees that we do have. Yes. Um, not that we were necessarily unappreciative before, but it, it really puts a, it's a, a different up call. Yes, absolutely. And it definitely yeah. puts a, a perspective on, on um, our current workforce right now. So, you know, and, and healthcare folks, I mean, during this whole madness, um, you know, it's it's hard being on the top and having to care for everyone. And then it's like, at the end of the day, who's caring for you? Exactly. And so as a facility or, um, you know, a boss or whatever, somebody's got to, everybody, it needs to go full circle. So everybody's got to look out for everybody else. Absolutely. And if you're having a bad day, even the person on top might need somebody to lift them up and and that's the whole you know that's how it should work exactly exactly I tried to start my um day off with okay what are my tasks for today and then I like to end my day with okay well what were my wins for for the day um and at this point you know I'm anytime I see a new app come in that excites me just because it's like this is a, a new potential employee for this facility. Yes. You know, this means that this is someone else that we can get into the to the building, um, get them acclimated with our system here, a new employee, and then who knows? In turn, this might provide that break for one of our current employees to say, "Hey, you know, sure, we, we've got you covered. We we've got the staffing that we need." So um, I look at wins as, hey, I've got a new app today. Yeah. Meeting, connecting with people. Hey, that's a win for me today. And then I've um, decided that, hey, on days where I'm like, uh, I didn't get any new apps. I didn't get anyone hired today. What would be my win for the day? I'm going to start calling my managers and say, hey, did you have a win for the day? Because I think that it's always great to end the day with um, things that you're thankful for. And then I think in turn, that good energy and that good vibe is yes. going to transcend into my managers. They're going to then pass that on to their employees. And it just really creates a great atmosphere. Yeah. So, you know, I think that that also goes into my role as an HR manager. Um I mean, there's a lot that goes into HR. So it's not always fun. Sometimes Man, it's stressful. The the rules but, and the laws are just. Yes, definitely. However, um, there's also a lot of benefits. You know, being able to see firsthand someone 
come in for a job fair and then turn around, they're offered a job, they start. I love seeing people in orientation that I met at one of my job fairs. Yes. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so happy that you came. And they're like, yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm like, but no, you don't understand. I'm like so excited for you to get like started. Like you're my new little baby. Yeah. I get to raise. Like, you know, whenever I see them out, like especially since I started in October, anyone that I've onboarded since then, I feel like – if I see my mom, I'm like, hey, how are you? How's it going? Da-da-da-da-da. And they're kind of like, yeah, it's it's going great. And they might look at me like a little weird, like, why is she so <laughs> excited to see me? But it's like it's so exciting seeing, like, someone that I've onboarded and they're still here. I ask them how yes. their experience has been because that's also very important, too. You can onboard as many people as you want, but if you're not creating an envir- or an, an inviting environment for your employees, sure. um, it, it's, it's all pointless. So I love seeing... Um, the employees that I've onboarded since I've been here and they're telling me how great their experience has been. That also lets me know that um, our practices that we currently have in place, that they're working. Um, That lets me know that this is a great place to work. Um, So that excites me. It it makes it easier to come on the show today or do job fairs and really sell the facilities because I I have um, firsthand accounts from our new employees who are speaking highly of our, our facilities. So... I love it. There you go. Straight from Carol's mouth. (laughs) All right. So how, um, so I guess with the um, assisted living facilities, you mentioned RN and LPN and all of that. Are there, are, are there positions where you don't have to be, you know, certified in something um, absolutely. That you could be hired? Yeah, absolutely. So um, just in like the nursing realm of things, you know, we have um, resident assistants for our assisted living facilities and um, what we call a nursing assistant to SCNA. So if you're someone who has interest in um, direct care and health care, um, but you don't yet have your SCNA certification, you know, that would be the track for you. Okay. Um, you come in. Get real um, world experience exactly, while you're working on that. Exactly. Kind of while yeah. working towards Smart. getting that certification. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's a role there. Um, with our dietary department, um, with housekeeping, those are both two positions that um, you don't have to have a direct certification for those jobs. Okay. All right. Um, so there you go. So you're not like out of the woods if you don't have like a, you know, some letters behind your name. Exactly. (laughs) Exactly. We have something for everybody. (laughs) Um, okay. So, well, here we go. So let's get back then to the hiring event. Yes. We're, I'm super excited. Um, the Jackson area is going to be the one to close us out. We, uh, had our first one with Holzer Senior Care. Um, last week was Holzer Assisted Living in Gal Police. Okay. So um, I, I've been creating a, a little, co- I've got a little competition going with a hiring mm-hmm. manager. I am a competitive person. <laughs> um, so I have told my managers at the Jackson facility, I said, hey, listen, y'all. Gal Police, they they rolled out the red carpet. Like they, they really stepped up the A game. Like, are you guys gonna let them out do you or, or what? Like you got you all y'all have to one up them, like the pressure's on. Um and I think that, that also creates some nice, <laughs> healthy, friendly competition between my managers too, because it's like, hey, this is our first impression for potential new hires. Yes. Like bring your A game. Bring yep. your A game. There you go. So I, I think Jackson, I, I think I have a good feeling that they're gonna deliver. I think you're exactly right. And that event is uh, this com- not tomorrow, but a week from tomorrow. Correct, March fifteenth from nine to four. Okay, and then do what would you like folks to do? Bring a resume, just show up, make an appointment. No appointments needed. If you just want to show up, hey, we would love to have you. Um, if you have a resume on hand, we would love for you to bring that as well. Um, there is also an option to attach your resume to your application too. Um, so yeah, if you have your resume already printed out, ready to go, bring it with you. Um, if not, that's fine. I'll be there too to, to assist in applying for the positions as well. Okay. Um, so they will have the opportunity to actually apply while they're there in the facility. Oh, Um, that's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a one-stop shop type of deal. Love that. So, 
Um, and this fun. is a perfect opportunity just for you to get to see the facility, you know, meet the residents, meet the other staff, meet Carol, yeah. meet, you know, meet the people that you would be surrounded by every day. Exactly. This is great. Exactly. I, I was, um, a bit, I, I wasn't sure how it was going to play out when we first started tossing around this idea and then just seeing like how much success that we've had with these job fair events with the other two facilities so far, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is a great idea because who wouldn't want to come meet the team, meet their manager, see the facility before they... Agreed. Yeah, before they commit to an interview or or commit to the job, like you're, you're going to see all of that get a feel for all of that before you start. Um, Because I think that's also a huge role in retention. You know, a lot of times people take a job, accept the job, start it, and then realize that it wasn't a great fit for them. Right. Because, you know, it may have, the job may have been sold to them a certain way. Well, with this, you're there, what you see is is what you're going to be able to experience. Yeah. Um, So it's been really successful. It's been very exciting. It's definitely kept me busy, but I'm not going <laughs> to complain about it at all. Um, like I said, I love coming in in the mornings and seeing the new apps that have rolled in and getting messages and even seeing people out. And they're like, hey, I saw you on the holes or fly. You know, I, I have to work that day, but can I still apply? And I'm like, absolutely. Yes, we would love to have you. Well, I'm glad that you mentioned that because that was going to be my next question. Say somebody, you know, is busy on Wednesday and they can't make it. Now, it's not tomorrow, Wednesday. It's a week from tomorrow Correct. at the assisted living. Um, <clears throat> how how should they, what should they do if they can't make uh, the, the hiring event? Yeah, if you um, aren't able to come out on the 15th, um, absolutely still apply. If you see a position online that you're interested in, if you see, if you get on the website and you don't see a position um, that you're interested in and you have questions, um, you're more than welcome to reach out to me, send me an email, give me a call, let me know what you're looking for, um, and we definitely might be able to help you out with that. Okay. Yeah, so still definitely apply, shoot me an email, send me a message, whatever, and say, hey, I can't make it, but I'm interested. Um, Love so yeah. that. So um, what website would they go to to um, you know find positions available? So if you go to our website, holzer.org, um, you will see a tab that says careers, um, and you'll just click uh-huh. on that. Yes, we definitely. Makes sense. Makes it easy for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, just click on the career careers tab, um, and then you'll see like right there in the center of the page, it says current openings. You'll click on that. If you're really not sure what exact position you want or with what facility, all you have to do is just hit, you don't have to type in anything. You can just hit the little magnifying glass button and it'll just pull up all of our open positions at all of our facilities. Oh, that's smart. Yes. And then on the left hand side of the page, if there's a specific facility that you're looking for, you can hone in on that and it'll show you all the current openings for that facility as well. So okay, definitely try to make it user friendly. Yeah, love that. And, you know, the Holes Are uh, website is just wonderful. I mean, anything from checking your own portal, your own appointments and, and test results and all of that, um, you can schedule appointments on yes. it. You can pay your bills on it. I love it. It's so good. So convenient. Yeah. Because, I mean, Find like. a job. Literally, we have everything that you need. All of that. Just right there on our website. Yep. Holzer.org. I love it. <laughs> That's so smart. Um, okay, so if someone would like to get a hold of you, um, just maybe to ask you questions, follow-up questions that we didn't cover today, um, how would they do that? Absolutely, yes. So you can give me a call. My number is 740-446-5058. Um, that is my direct line. Direct line to Carol. 446-5058. Or they can also call the general HR line as well. Um, that's 740-446-5105 and they can transfer them over to my line. Or if I'm out of the office and at one of the facilities at the time, they're more than willing to take a message and get the message to me. Okay. Um, or you can also shoot me an email. It's just C Armstrong at holzer.org. Um, I'm constantly receiving emails, checking emails on the go. So, um, can definitely reach out to me that way as well. See, she's not hard to find. I'm not. Um, <laughs> I, I try to try to make it easy. 
there you go. And I'm sure if somebody wanted to just call one of the facilities and, and um, visit there, they could do that too. Absolutely. If you have questions um, about a position at a particular facility, you're more than welcome to reach out to one of the facilities as well mm -hmm. um, and get in contact with one of the executive directors or um, one of the staff members there at one of the facilities, and they'll definitely um, point you in the right direction. If they're not sure, then they're definitely going to refer you to me and, you know, someone will get you get you the answer that you're looking for. That's exactly right. And that's the whole point is uh, just to make it easy for everybody. Absolutely. So is the, um, now I know that this isn't your department, but I figure since you're there so much, you probably know. Um, are they still offering like the respite stays and things like that at the assisted living? Like the, um, I know, for example, um, sometimes if people would have like a surgery or something and just need a place to go for a second, um, they did have some rooms like that. I just wondered if they still had, um, that kind of thing. She oh, doesn't man. know. I stumped her. You did. I wasn't prepared for that. Um, I am not sure, but that would be an ex question for, um, our executive directors. We need to have them in. Yes. Because that, we have they haven't been in, in like forever. That is such a great idea. Yeah. Yes. And you would love Matt and Tammy. They're both complete sweethearts. Um, Matt is the executive director at Holzer's Living here in Jackson. And mm -hmm. then Tammy McCoy is the executive director for the facility in Gal Police. Okay. Um, but they're both just complete sweethearts. Super friendly, very easy to talk to. Um, but they would be the best person for your We question. should get them in to talk about that because um, I think there's so many things that, that the assisted livings have to offer that folks might not even think about. Absolutely, absolutely. Like I um, didn't even know this until maybe I was a few weeks into my job, but we have um, beauticians at both of our facilities who will even um, cut hair for our residents. And, yeah, so, you know. If grandma, if she was used to going to the beauty shop, you know, a couple times a month and getting her hair done. That's right. Yeah. Self-care is important. It is. And you want to get up and, and feel good and, and exactly. all of that. And sometimes it may be hard with transportation and all that. So we'll bring them to you. Exactly. Exactly. That. Yeah. It's so sweet. Very good. All right. So just. Remind everybody once again before we let you get out of here, what's going on special? Yes. Well, every day is a special day at Holzer Health System. There you go. <laughs> it's exciting. But the most exciting upcoming thing happening um, for Holzer Assisted Living in Jackson is our job fair. It is next Wednesday, March 15th from 9 to 4. Um, you can come in, meet the team, take a tour of the facility, um, interview on spot, apply on, on, on the spot there, um, and be entered into a raffle for your chance to win a gift card. Everyone loves gift I love gift card. Wait, we haven't even mentioned that yet. Where was that? That? <laughs> well, I couldn't give it all to you at once. I had to close it out with a bang. Woohoo! Gift card. Yes. Yes. I love a good gift card. I mean, who doesn't? Exactly. Very good. And that's what I asked for birthdays and Christmases. Every year. Yep. What do you want for Christmas, Carol? A gift Bring card would be nice. Amazon. Bring it on. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely Amazon. <laughs> Amazon sure. or a local restaurant or something local. Definitely. Yep. I Definitely. agree. Definitely. All right. Well, very good. Well, Carol, um, before you get out of here, I think I know what you're going to say, but I never let anyone <laughs> leave without asking you what's your favorite thing about working at Holzer. Hmm... I know it's such a cliche answer, but I would definitely have to say the team that I'm working with. Um, you know, my position as the um, post-acute HR generalist, this is a new position that they just created. This okay. Year. So there isn't, I don't have a, anyone to ask There's that no came map. before me. Yeah, no, <laughs> no not playbook. at all. But my managers um, and the VP of post-acute, Robert Massey, um, my team, I, I could not have been placed with a better team. They have just made it so um, easy for me as far as finding out how post-acute works because it's a completely different ball game um, and, and finding out um, what their struggles are as far as staffing needs go. They have been so helpful, um, so accommodating. Anything that I've asked them to do, 
Um, they've just gotten back to me super quick on responses, ideas. Um, they've been That's my sounding sweet. board. They, they, so it honestly would be the people that I work with. Um, my team has been great. And then not just my direct team with post acute, but also people within the health system. There've been so many people who have come up to me and said, Hey, you know, I used to do this or that at one of the assisted living facilities or at senior care. Um, I can, ha- if you have any questions about anything, I'm more than willing to help you. Like that has been um, my favorite part about working at Holzer that, you know, it doesn't even have to necessarily be someone in my division, just someone within yeah. the health system, just lending a helping hand. That's what I love the most. There you go. Wonderful yeah. answer. Thank you. You are now Miss America. I don't know about all that. And world peace. Well, well, would be nice. <laughs> that would be nice too. No, that was a great answer. That was a great answer. All right. Well, Carol, thank you so much for, for stopping by today. Don't forget to come out and see her next Wednesday at the Holzer Assisted Living here in Jackson, nine to four. Nine to four. So you have plenty of time throughout the day to get there. Exactly. So if you're someone that has a job and you get off maybe at 12, 1, 2, or even 3.30. Or you, you come sh- out on your lunch hour. Yes, yes, come out. You know, last week we had someone show up, like, right at 4 o'clock, and they were like, man, we're sorry, we, I know it's it's over, but I had to work, and I'm like, um, it's not over. It's not over until I don't have anyone show up, and guess what? I don't care that it is 4 or 4 or 5. Yep, we're, come on in. Yeah, come on. We're, we're here to help. We're glad you went to work and didn't yeah. skip it to come Absolutely. Here. And we're glad that you came to see us afterwards. So. <laughs> Very good. All right. Well, thank you so much for stopping thank by. You. Come back and see us anytime Absolutely. you have um, something fun to talk about. Absolutely. And, or if you just want to chat. We can talk about our hair. Yeah, because you, you understand the struggle. Yeah, the struggle is real. Very real. Yeah. Very real. See, she gets it too. Yeah. It's a curly girl problems. It is. It is. <laughs> it's a whole other show. <laughs> For a different day. Yep. <laughs> All right. Well, get out of here. Have a good day. Thank and you. Um, good luck at your event this coming Wednesday. Thank you. Or next so Wednesday. Much. Yes, I appreciate of course. It. All right. And so let's give uh that weather forecast, Dylan, if you could, because it is a little bit on the well. It's kind of, I don't know, just blah. Um, Yesterday was great running around in shorts and T-shirts. Yesterday afternoon doing work outside. It was so nice. Um, But today back down to a high of 49. Lows overnight. Look at that. Down to 25, 26 tomorrow. Um, But temperatures sticking within the... um, Upper 40s to the mid 50s for the next few days, um, actually all the way through the work week. So there you go. The beginning of your work week. What is that? Uh, my cellular device. Dylan. Sorry, I forgot to mute it. <laughs> it sounds like a superhero thing or something. Like like pow, bang. Do do. Do do. Yeah, I have an interesting, like, little announcer thing on my phone. I don't know what you'd even call that. Like, what is that, your notification sound? Yes, that would be your notification sound. Yeah, mine's weird. Well, hi, James. Hi, Jen. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Not too bad. Your people didn't call my people no, today. Why is it that I don't know. you, you wore the a, sweatshirt and I didn't? You have a nicer, yeah, it's a very nice sweater. Thanks. I just wear the free shirts they give us here. <laughs> <laughs> True that. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. Hey, did you hear the cycle search clue today? I did. What do you make of that? Well, because it sounds like Pike County is. Is it Pike oh. County or is it like some road that ends in Pike? I don't know. I don't know. We'll I find don't know. out. You just got to keep listening. You do. Eventually it's like it'll narrow. Me out. Yeah. We'll narrow down all the cat, uh, counties eventually. Yeah. But yeah. It takes a minute. Takes a minute, but yeah, I mean that's the way it sounds. But I don't know. Have All to right. keep listening. Save that gasoline. Don't yeah. head that way anyway. Yeah. Hey, do you know what uh, Sunday is? Sunday is Sunday. It's true. It is Sunday. It's also daylight savings time. Yes, that was going to be my next thing and already. Already. So uh, spring forward. 
the middle of the night, like 2 a.m. or something like that. Yeah, no fun to spring forward because you lose that hour, but you also... You gain an hour of sunlight. Yes, you know. gain that hour of sunlight, yeah. which is nice. But it's also Selection Sunday for the NCAA basketball tournament. It is. It is. So March Madness is almost among, among us. Upon us. Upon us. No, that's a fungus among us. What are you doing, Dylan? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I was trying to scoot over because I had something to say. That Dylan I was sitting the over table. there looking <laughs> real suspicious. Like, scooting like this Well, way. I was excited. Isn't this our last one? Like our last daylight savings? Like they did like a bill thing and they passed it and this oh, is it. Oh, well, you know, yeah, know. They've been talking about that for yeah. the well, past my teacher 150 said it. She walked years. into school and she was all excited and she's like, they passed it. It's over. I don't I, think so. Yeah, I don't know. I know I that it, so. there is legislation. I think legislation. she just got the whole class hyped for no reason then. Yeah. Because yeah. like, I was excited for a minute. That means it's not going to be dark at 8 anymore. It'll be dark at 9 forever. That would be nice. Well, I mean, not, not exactly. necessarily. Yeah. Because in the wintertime, it's just lighter, fewer hours. So. Yeah. Uh, well, it'll be more sunlight in general. Go back to your... Uh, let's well, see, it'll be what darker you learn in about the, the planets. <laughs> You need an astronomy. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yes. the NCAA basketball uh, selection <laughs> yeah, Sunday get off on that. Uh, is this Sunday. Yes. Which means they're going to announce the teams that are in the tournament, of course. Yes. And here at Total Media, we will be having our basketball mania contest once again. Correct. So uh, we will be sharing more information uh, later in the week, early next week. But uh, long story short is... Starting Sunday, when they make that announcement, I'm not 100% sure what time it is. It's in the afternoon, 4 yeah. o'clock, 5 yeah, o'clock, something, something like that. that. But sometime between then and noon on Wednesday the 15th, you got to get your picks in. Okay, and, and, and the best way for you to do that is online. Yeah, and we'll, yeah. so we'll share all the links on, on the Facebook and everything like that. Mm -hmm. uh, but in when, next Wednesday's paper, is that right? Yeah, the 15th. Is that right? Yeah, that must be. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to look at the calendar from across <laughs> the room. It's hard to keep all these dates straight in my head. Uh, but the bracket will be printed in the telegram, so you can take that out of the paper, fill it, fill it out, and bring it in. But you don't have to wait for that because you can just fill it out online. Online so much easier. Yeah, it'll be a lot, a lot easier, a lot quicker for everybody yeah. involved. Um, and you will be entered for a chance to win Six hundred dollars in prizes, so it's three hundred to first place, two hundred to second place, and one hundred to third place. There you go. Mm -hmm. So you have that opportunity. Top three, yeah, uh, and only register once. Yeah, one entry per person. Yeah. Yes, yep. Don't be putting filling out twenty brackets and sending mm -hmm. them in. Um, yep, because it's a no no. No. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be really exciting. We're going to keep everybody kind of up to date on the standings and everything because it'll it'll shift around a lot. It this does. First, I mean, the, that first round is definitely the most fun. Yeah. Um, but it, once you get the first round is when you know most people will get the most right answers, and at once you get past that first round, every one <laughs> you miss means you miss some, like, another one. Yeah. Right. So the yes. more you miss in that first round, you're you're going you're gonna to miss a bunch the, in the next round, The too. great thing about the first round is inevitably there's, like, these crazy upsets. Oh, yeah. And it's like you could have – I mean, there's times where, you know, you have, like, a number one seed going out, and, you know, that's the person that somebody had winning the whole oh, thing, yeah. and they're you're out in the first you're done round. Already. It's like yeah. you're, you're toast. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, what do you do? Do you uh, – well, we're going to pick our brackets on the show. Oh, we we'll, are? We'll, we'll, we'll make time to make that happen. Okay. Uh, probably on Monday. But, you know, how do you decide? I mean, I know in the past you are very much in the uh, pick the prettiest jersey camp. Yes. Yeah. I like that. So we might, Dylan might have to look up uh, what each team's jersey looks like for us. I think that's fair. Um, but yeah, it, it'll be a lot of fun. And, you yeah. know, but like, what do you do? Do you pick the higher seed for everyone? Do you not pick any upsets? I mean... Do you try to pick some upsets? I think you have to pick upsets. Yeah. If you don't pick upsets, then there's not... You're never going to get anywhere. Mm -hmm. I mean, because that would be the most boring tournament ever if it just went exactly yeah, how it was supposed to go. Sometimes that's how it goes. It does. But sometimes it's madness. 
like literal, literal madness. madness. Like March Madness is yeah. such a good word yeah. for that. <laughs> the, I mean, there have been a few number one seeds losing the first yeah. round now. Out. Yeah. Yep. You're exactly right. So, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, my tiebreaker would definitely be the prettiest outfits. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, the uh, in case of a tie, the tiebreaker this year will be the combined total of points in the national championship game. Okay. So, that's something that we'll be asking you when you fill out your bracket. So, in the unlikely event that we do end up with a tie, you got to guess that combined point total. So, so say it's, you know, 51 to 49 and you guess 100, then you, you would win. win the tiebreaker, yeah. Is it like the price is right? Is it without going over? Oh, that's a good question. I don't know. <laughs> we have yeah. to figure out that. Probably. <laughs> that's probably how it works. And James, didn't you say you lost so you're in charge of it this year? Yeah, I did real bad <laughs> last year. Thanks for bringing it <laughs> up, Dylan. <laughs> Dude, you just got crushed. I know. Last so, year. so here was my <laughs> philosophy going into it last year. <laughs> Whatever it was, it, it was wrong. <laughs> well, okay. So here was what I was thinking. I was like, well, I can't. I've got to make some like controversial choices. Okay. Because if I just go with the favorite for every game, you know, I'm That's just going to make the same picks everybody makes. Yeah. So I put some serious thought into it. I was like, well, you know. They're an underdog, but I could see them winning that game. Mm -hmm. And I was wrong every time. <laughs> Dude, it was so bad. I, I was dead last in our office pool, and I was like 380-somethings. Out of in, 400 and some. In the, uh, our overall basketball mania poll. Oh, honey. But, but yeah. you're in charge now, right? Yes. Okay, that's, that's yes. my point of that. So, <laughs> so I, yeah, so I am uh, the league commissioner. Congratulations. Yes. Uh, so as league commissioner, <laughs> um, if you entered the... League commissioner. <laughs> so if you uh, entered last year, mm -hmm. you should have received an email from me yesterday okay. inviting you to join again. And if you didn't, check your spam. Yeah, yeah, hopefully it didn't go to your spam. It went I feel to my. Like the s dumbest things go to yeah. spam, and then you get all mm -hmm. the spam. Emails. Yeah, the email came to me okay, but it could have gone to your spam. Yeah. Um, but so it'll have a link to our website, and that will have all the information you need to enter. Uh, we will give you a pool ID and a password. Ooh. So that is what you need to log in. Uh, well, you will create your own account with your own password to log in. But that pool ID and the pool password is what you need to actually join the basketball mania. Well, because that gets you into the total media right. part yeah. of it. Mm -hmm. You know, that bracket. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So that'll I'm all sure be that, on our website. You know, you'll have other office pools, friend pools, mm -hmm. whatever, that will have other, you know, login IDs yeah. and passwords and all that stuff. It's probably yeah. kind of a little bit confusing, but... A little bit, but it will have it printed right there, so it's easy to find. Yeah. So you'll yeah. be and and it's free. Yeah, it is free. So why would you not fill enter. it out? I mean, no just guess everyone. Who cares? Yeah, there's no reason not to enter. It's a hundred percent free. And you don't sell the information or anything. Mm -mm. Like it's not like that. Mm -mm. Um, then we're also going to have a separate contest for our sponsors. <gasps> What's that? So uh, when you get that uh, bracket in the Telegram, you're going to see that there are sponsors on there. Mm -hmm. And each sponsor is going to be randomly assigned a team oh. in the tournament. And each sponsor is going to guess who they think is going to win. So they're going to guess an overall winner. Okay. So we also have that contest going on, too. Gotcha. So there's two, two sponsor contests. Ooh. And so if you are interested in being a sponsor... If you have a small business or something, give us a call. Okay. And so we've got 60, 64 teams, so we're going to have 64 spot, spots in that sponsor contest, too. Gotcha. Yeah. Nice. Yes, Dylan? So is March Madness fantasy football? Negative. No. Uh oh It is, is not fantasy nor football. Correct. It is, it oh, is, wow. it is a wrong. real tournament, and it is basketball. So, <laughs> so it's fantasy basketball. It's not no. fantasy. It's not fantasy. <laughs> fantasy is... It's fantasy. Yeah, it's, it's a made different, up. Yeah, it's a different game. This yeah. is an actual tournament that they so play. So it's like bidding, kind of? Like, I think this guy will win. Yeah, but you're not playing with money. 
Well, I mean, some people. No, it's not a bet guy. On. It's a team. It's a team. Do you not know what basketball is, Dylan? No, no, I know what basketball is. What it's, is basketball, Dylan? You, you dribble a ball across How? the court and you shoot it. That's yeah. That's basically it. <laughs> <laughs> you know but, who? You know who? You know who? Dylan told me this morning that he didn't know who was. Oh, I no. can't even imagine because he. Hulk Hogan and Ra- Macho Man Randy Savage. What? I know the song Macho Man. Which is has nothing, nothing to, to do, do with Macho Man Randy Savage. No. And the funny thing, when we were having this conversation that he didn't know who Macho Man was, we you had You don't know who Hulk Hogan is either? I, is it like some actor? Like some like guy? They're wrestlers. I, oh. Like wrestlers. Well, I, know, I know who Andre the Giant is. Hulk Hogan body slammed Andre the Giant. He did. Oh. Well, that's good for him, I guess. Yeah, it was good for him. Not so good for Andre why, the Giant. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's why Hulk up Hogan, so well. It's why Hulk Hogan like, can't, can't walk anymore. Yeah, right, he <laughs> anyway, we, but, we So we were listening to Matt and Josh on 96.7. We were having this conversation. Yeah. I forget what they were talking about, but Josh goes, oh, yeah. <laughs> right <laughs> when we were talking about that. And I was like... That's how famous Macho Man is. He's just <laughs> quoting his catchphrase like in everyday conversation. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll figure out who he is. All right. All right. Google Hulk Hogan and... Have and you like, seen... Uh, <laughs> good grief. So I've got Jennifer watching It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Oh, my gosh. Funniest show on television. Hilarious. And there's an episode where... So wrong, though, if you're offended by things anything? easy... Did you figure it out, Dylan? I remember him now. I know his face. That yeah, he is famous. He did something yeah. like he held yeah. a microphone to his face once, and he said something like serious, but it was funny, and it was it was like a meme. Sure. Um, what, <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, there's an it's episode of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia where Dennis is describing Hulk Hogan to somebody. <laughs> and he's like, he has the skin of a hot dog and the hair of an old Chinese man. Kind of does. <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm looking at him right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, here's a fun fact about Macho Man Randy Savage. What's that? Did you know that he played in the Cincinnati Reds minor league organization? No, I did not know that. He did? Yeah. Interesting. Mm-hmm. He's got a baseball card and everything. They've got some of his memorabilia in the Reds Hall of Fame. That is so cool. Yeah. This guy's wearing tiger skin, and he looks like a tiger, like with his hair too. Like this man just looks like a human tiger. Would we can't macho see. Man? Yeah, just for the record, we cannot see what he's seeing, and we do not no know idea. what he's, he's talking. Do not know what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> well, I told you I got to meet. Um, who was the one that, that went woo? Ric Flair. Well, Ric Flair. I yeah. met Ric Flair and Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Mm-hmm. That was yeah. fun. Now, none of those, none of that lot is going to be there, but uh, I think it's this Saturday at uh, OUC in Chillicothe yes. is the uh, Russell Super Show. And Are they doing that again? Yeah. Awesome. I, I don't have, I don't know the dates here, but Matt was talking about it a lot this morning. Cool. But the, the big draw is Sting is going to be there. Do you remember really? Sting? Really? I do remember yeah. Sting. Not the singer Sting. Not the singer Sting. The wrestler Although Sting. Although that would be... A great match. Sting versus Sting. Yes. Winner gets to keep the name. Yeah. Battle Royale for mm-hmm. the name. For the name. name. Yeah. Name. Yeah. I like it. I'm not even going to ask Dylan if he knows who Sting is. Either one. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so if you're a wrestling <laughs> Look, fan. he's like, I'm uh, thinking. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to figure it out. That's all right. He is trying to figure it out. Now, Dylan did tell me this morning that... Uh, so Dylan is still in high school, of course, for those that don't know. Yes. So we are always tease him about like not knowing this stuff. And he asked some of his classmates if they knew any of it. And he said a lot of them don't know what we're talking about either. So I kind of feel like maybe it's on us. We maybe. shouldn't be like ridiculing Dylan for not knowing this stuff. But it's a little we fun. Should, it is. It is very fun. I'm sorry, Dylan. It's very fun. Because it's like the most but, normal, obvious stuff that we yeah, ask him about. And right. it's like... Dylan's know. like, what's breakfast cereal? <laughs> <laughs> but we should be taking it upon us to uh, bestow our immense knowledge of <laughs> who 80s wrestlers are. Of BS. On the next generation. Yeah, I agreed. Yeah. 
Because that was just a whole thing, Dylan. There were shows about it. There were cartoons about it. I mean, there were mm-hmm. action figures. Yeah. We, you know, girls and boys played wrestling and beat each other up. It was yeah. great. I so know what WWE? Yeah. Well, yes. that's what the that's what these guys were in. Yes. Um, Minus the the they didn't quite do the gymnastics that yeah, are, they, are the guys in the eighties were not flippy like the guys. No, today. they were just the guy, all they were just out big and roided out tanning and bed monsters. Very was it tan real and oily. Fighting? Like did they actually punch each other or did they just be like I'm gonna hit you now? Mo- mostly that. Mostly they yeah, just Yeah, it talked. was more of just like the most ridiculous <laughs> yeah. show you've ever seen, and it was fantastic. Yeah. yeah. But what brought it up is Dylan was talking about Weird Al. And I don't. <laughs> so Weird Al had a short lived sitcom called The Weird Al Show. It was kind of like a sketch comedy show for kids. Okay. And there's an episode where he wrestled, well, he wrestles Randy Savage. <laughs> and I was going to show that to Dylan. But then I, I mentioned, you know who Macho Man Randy Savage is? He said no. And then I got the impression that he wasn't 100% aware of who Weird Al was. Uh, I know who so Weird then Al I was kind of like, this is the funniest thing ever, but it would be it would not it would make be a little lost on this. Yeah. Yeah. So I didn't get that, too. But if you would like to see uh, Weird Al Yankovic wrestle Macho Man Randy Savage, you should look it up because it's really funny. Is it on YouTube? It's on YouTube. Of course it is. Because yeah. what is it? All right. Do you know who Pee Wee Herman is? Yes, I do. I watched his new movie. There's a new movie? On uh, Netflix. Yeah, it's, it's a few years old now, but oh, yeah. okay. Well, what, what, what Pee Wee, uh, I forget what, what was the new one called. I don't know. I think he was in a blimp at some point. That's all I really remember. All right. But yeah, they they did make another. It was like Pee Wee and a Pee Wee's Holiday, I think is what it was called, uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, Pee Wee's Holiday Getaway or something yeah. like that. <laughs> I used to love that show, the Pee Wee Herman show. Oh, yeah. Pee Wee's so Playhouse. Funny. Yes. Yeah. Oh, so good. <laughs> I know you are, but what am I? <laughs> oh, God. We got to get out of here. Yep. I want to follow up, though, because I heard the boys talking about on the radio when I was driving in this morning talking about. Um, there was that whole madness of Jake Gyllenhaal this weekend. Doing a uh, Roadhouse doing, remake. At the, well, all these people started posting him like at a UFC, uh huh, in a UFC fight. Yeah, but they were filming a scene from the movie. They were filming. They were filming the scene for the movie at an actual UFC fight. Yeah. So that they could use the audience right. and stuff. But people were making it sound like, oh God, he's now a UFC fighter. Yeah. Because he's flip and ripped mm-hmm. in the in the pictures and stuff but so i heard the boys talking about this roadhouse remake how do you feel about that i mean do whatever you want to do roadhouse the original will still be there yeah uh, dylan only knows roadhouse from a, a family guy joke <laughs> <laughs> dylan your your homework today is to go home and work watch roadhouse i've not actually ever seen Roadhouse either. What? I know what it is, but I have not actually seen Roadhouse. What is wrong with you? Oh my gosh, it's one of the (laughs) best movies ever. Yeah. I miss, I mean, you know, it's, I'm it came tell you out what, before I was born. If you've never seen Roadhouse, you need to go home and watch it tonight, yeah. and I'm not going to talk to you until you did <laughs> do again. Oh, and by the way, if you have not seen Chris Rock's Netflix, I watched that last did, night. The racist sweatpants. The whole thing is spot on and brilliant. It was pretty. It was pretty it, good. I like. I literally laughed out loud like a hundred times. It is. You need to watch it if you're into that kind of thing. Yeah. Now, it, I mean, if you're good. if you're offended by the F word, yeah, I don't know what to tell you, but. Or the N word, yeah. <laughs> he says that a lot too, but um, it's it's great. He did a fantastic mm-hmm. job, complete with dropping the mic at the end. He like spiked it. Yeah, I'm sure yeah. whoever was doing sound didn't like He's that like, very much. Dang it, Chris! <laughs> the buy oh. <laughs> We just paid you fifty million dollars for this, and you break our equipment. <laughs> you broke the mic. Yeah, he kind of body slammed the mic, yeah. but. It was actually 
well done. So yeah. anyway, Roadhouse. Roadhouse. You have to watch it. All right. <laughs> I'm going to be so mad if you don't watch it. I mean. I- it is. It is so good. Yeah. And I just don't know how I feel about a remake. Anyway. Okay. I've never seen Big Trouble in Little China either. I haven't seen that movie. It's just as big as Roadhouse. No. They're both Swayze. No. Patrick Swayze, Roadhouse. <laughs> Roadhouse. <sighs> All right. Bye, guys. Thanks See you for tomorrow. watching. See you tomorrow. <laughs>